All right, welcome to yet another fabulous Linux Zoo crew. And tonight on the zoo, we are distro hopping. Everybody here on my panel, we've all got bandages all over our heads from trying so many different Linux distributions, having some headaches with one distribution, then moving on to the next and moving on to the next. And today we're going to discuss some things that may help you find a Linux distribution that is right for you. Now, before we begin, I would like to share a few words from our founder, Voltam. Hi, I'm Voltam, founder of the Linux Distro Community. The Linux Distro Community is a place for people to hang out and discuss Linux, Linux distros, software, and open source. The Linux Distro Community is a community funded by its members for its members. We are a friendly, welcoming community that encourages people who use Linux operating systems and software to share their passion and knowledge with other people. We believe that when people share information freely, everyone benefits. We'd love to see you become a part of the Linux distro community. You can voice chat with us on Mumble or text chat with us in IRC. Head over to linuxdistrocommunity.com for details. Join in today in the sharing of knowledge and the freedom that a Linux operating system gives people. Thank you. Thank you, Voltam. And now I'd like to pass the mic over to Total OS today, who will be delighted to introduce our panel. Thank you, Spatry. Yes, it's good to be back on another show for this Saturday evening. We have in the studio, we have Ballyhoo, we have Crunchy Linux Reviews, we have Electro, we have Pinkcast. Quids, Riley, of course, Spatry, and myself toss today. Uh, so, Spatry, back to you. All right, and uh, let me ask you, um, how much was that medical bill for when you went fishing with dynamite? Uh, the insurance adjuster, his calculator blew up, so it doesn't look good. <laughs> that's, that's, that's bad timing, and remember, always insure your boat first, right? Absolutely. And of course, we're not actually recommending that you fish with dynamite. Duh. <laughs> so, so you still have both of your feet intact, I hope. <laughs> That's right, baby. <laughs> All right. Well, then another day of fishing for you again. All right. Well, let's go ahead and move on to our topic. We are distro hopping. And our first panel guest, Ballyhoo, uh, he's done his fair share of distro hopping. First, Ballyhoo, please tell me, what Linux distribution are you currently using now, and why do you like it? Thanks, Patrick. I am currently using OpenSUSE 12.1. Uh, at first, it was a little, it was a little rocky, but I've, I've seen it through. Uh, I'm learning a lot with uh, Yast. It's a great configuration tool. It has configs for everything you can imagine. The package management in... OpenSUSE is an RPM-based distribution, but it uses Zipper, which is, seems to be a modified YUM. And it's very straightforward, very powerful package manager. It does a great job with dependencies. Uh, one of the things that attracted me about OpenSUSE the most was that I could choose to use a stable release, in this case 12.1, and they also have a tumbleweed repository, which changes OpenSUSE into a rolling release. I have yet to try it, but it looks very interesting. Tell me a little bit about some of the distributions you used prior to OpenSUSE. Well, I've used Fedora. Um, I tried out Voyager, which is Ubuntu based. I've used Ubuntu 12.04. Um, I've tried Arch on my notebook, and despite some wireless issues, I I had a good time with it. It wasn't too difficult. But that you know, I've I've tried a few, but. I can't. I, I settled on OpenSUSE 12.1. Okay, very nice. And if you could give a tip to our listeners here, what w advice would you give to somebody who has never tried Linux before, who would be interested in giving it a shot? What advice would you give to them on helping them to find a Linux distribution that is right for them? I would say look for a distribution that has a well-established community and offers a very grand, a very great out-of-the-box experience for the user. Nothing too complex, nothing that requires too much setup. Okay, all oh, very good. Total OS today, do you have any questions for Ballyhoo? Well, uh, I'm not sure if I caught it, but how long have you been using Linux uh, up until now? Not very long. Just a little while. Okay. 
a little while can be 15 minutes. If I, if I was capable of using that many distros in 15 minutes, I would be doing much more with my life. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist when somebody says, oh, I've just been using something for a little while, you know. And then that kind of rolls the gear in the head. Well, a little while is subjective. A little while could be 15 minutes for some people. It could be a couple of days, you know, and that sort of thing. So thank you for sharing with us. And next we're going to move on to... Crunch, crunchy Linux reviews. Now, Crunchy, you've done a, your fair share of distro hopping. What, which distribution are you using right now, and well, why do you like it? Well, if you couldn't tell by the name, I'm using Crunchbang Linux. Okay, and what do you like about Crunchbang? I like that it's very lightweight, and uh, all in all, it's very customizable in my opinion. Tell us a little bit about some of the distributions you have tried. I've tried Arch, I've tried uh, Slackware, I've tried uh, Ubuntu, uh, and uh, I've even tried the Horrid uh, Pear Commies OS. <laughs> uh-oh, Spatry, uh-oh. <laughs> so we know you are wearing a few bandages on your head after trying that one. Tell us a little bit about that, Crunchy. Well, it, it's a nice, it, it looks nice, which is mainly what I went for in a distribution until I found Crunchbang. I looked for, I, I didn't want it to be ugly, you know, but uh, I did not, uh, and you know, Pear OS, it has a great theme, but it just doesn't work, so uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, some of you who may remember my review on that, I think I yelled out at the camera, Buggy! Buggy! Horse Stable! And uh, I really wanted to say something really nasty, but because I have a family show, I couldn't say what I really wanted to say on the show, and that sort of thing. So, at any rate, Crunchy, bottom line, if you were going to give advice to somebody who has never used Linux before, and they want to find a distribution that is right for them, what would you suggest to them? Good reviews on and uh, obviously find one that is easy to use like Ubuntu. I would recommend Ubuntu. And just find one that you like and enjoy. All right, good enough. And our next panel guest, Electro Linux, he has a show on YouTube. And according to what he's posted on IRC, he has been using Linux for 342 days, 21 hours, 40 minutes, and 31 seconds. That's interesting. How did you come up with that calculation, Electro? Well, you were saying about how long's not long, and you were saying it was 15 minutes, so I just thought I'd add a little joke. Um, it has been quite close to a year now, so it is probably close enough. Um, okay, well, okay, well. Go on. on IRC, smart we like, smart Alec we don't. Just teasing. Which distribution are you using now, Electro? Um, I've got actually had to go back to Ubuntu 12 or 4, really. Um, like you know from my videos and stuff, I'm probably one of the people who's distro hopped through pretty much all the distros on on the top 100 on Distro Watch. Um, I have I have um a laptop which I solely use just for trying out all the different distros. I just bang on a USB from my desktop, try them out. You know what I mean? I've tried Mint, I've tried Ubuntu, Fedora, Magia, SUSE. Arch. The only one that I haven't really tried much of is a Gen 2 base. I mean, I have tried um, Sabian and that, but I've just gone through KD variants, Enlightenment, Gnome, Unity, all them lot. And uh, just basically, it all depends on my hardware, really, and what I feel comfortable using. Yeah, and that, that does give you a little bit of advantage because you are a show host on YouTube, so this gives you an opportunity to fill requests, look at a number of distributions and that sort of thing uh, that, that people are asking you to have a look at. Now, uh, in your career of uh, doing uh, videos, and I realize you haven't been doing it a whole lot, uh, or, or for a long time, I should say, um, which distribution did you like the most, and which one did you like the least? Um, well, we all know what the least one got to be pair of me. Um, I did start to like Arch Bang, but it is a lot of configuring, and you do really spend more time researching about the OS than you do actually using it. 
Um, I found Ubuntu was quite a strong base distribution. Um, depending on how good your computer is, you could try the Kubuntu and all that sort of variant. Um, like I say, it all depends on hardware. I mean, since I moved to um, an NVIDIA GeForce GT X 570, I've stimps, uh, seemed to stick to more Ubuntu-based distributions. And when I was running on ATI graphics, uh, without having to install the proprietary drivers, I could just flip through any, but... Without uh, now, I have to go through the um, no mode set and install proprietary drivers that way. But it is a bit of a pain, here, really. Okay, interesting. And uh, now, let me ask you: if you were to give a piece of advice to somebody who's never tried Linux, and of course, I'm asking this question to everybody, what advice would you give to them to find a Linux distribution that is right for them? Well, nine out of ten people would straight say, "I'll oh, go for Ubuntu." You basically need to work out what the person's going to be needing the computer for, really. If the more a multimedia, I would go straight for Ubuntu Studio. Um, if they only want a lightweight web browser base, then go for something like, I don't know, L Ubuntu. Maybe even start them on Zorin if they're so used to Windows. But, I mean, I've got a few people on to listen. They're mainly using Ubuntu. And if they have any problems, they come straight to me and they seem to be enjoying the experience. And... Two of them aren't even bothered to stick with Windows anymore. They've jumped straight to Linux. All right, fair enough. Thank you. Okay, next we have Pingcasts. And, of course, uh, I've known Pingcasts uh, for quite some time now. Uh, I got introduced to them when I was first uh, invited into the Linux distro community from Voltam. And uh, he's been with us all of this time. He's been on my show on countless occasions. And uh, he's done his fair share of distro hopping. And interestingly enough, he's even helped me out a few times. Currently, right now, he's working on a little program that will help uh, help people get the most out of FFmpeg, which I think is great. And I can't wait to see what kind of work you're going to be doing with this pincast. But I'd like to ask you, at this point right now, what is your favorite Linux distribution and why do you like it? At the moment, I'm using Ubuntu, and I love it. It's the distro I started with, and it's the distro I'm using now. It just works really, really well right out of the box, and it just does what I want it to do when I want to do it. It just it works. That simple. It works, so I use it. You know, this is interesting that I'm hearing this tonight because I remember you've run uh, Slackware, you have uh, run Arch Linux, you have built Gentoo, and now you are back on Ubuntu. What influenced that decision? Well, uh, it just it gets tiring after a while uh, just building the system up and configuring everything. And I've kind of moved on from that. I want an out-of-the-box distro. I've moved on. Now my, I'm getting into programming, so I want something that's a bit more out-of-the-box. I can program easier. Uh, I'm just not into big on just building it from ground up and configuring everything anymore. I've kind of moved on from that. So pretty much, you just want to take your focus off of maintaining the operating system so that you can do what you find enjoyment with, and namely that is uh, programming. And I'm very interested to see a little bit uh, of some of the things that you're doing. I know you've shown me some examples previously where you're working with Python and that sort of thing. Excellent work. Keep up the good job. I can't wait to see what kind of things you're going to be cranking out. And Lord knows, this could open up many doors for you in the future uh, if you're going to be programming and you could eventually get picked up by a company to start making software. So, I mean, it's a wonderful idea. Well, thank you, Spatry. I'm glad to hear that my work is appreciated. I uh, helped Raven with his script and he told me I was a legend and I'm Australian. I can say good day. I'm not, a, I'm not American. I'm Australian. I can say good day and I got a kick out of that. So it's good to hear that my work is uh, appreciated. Very nice, very nice indeed. Next, we have a big star on YouTube, and uh, he is Quids Up, uh, and uh, he's had a show on YouTube quite a bit longer than I have. I know that you're running Ubuntu, but the thing is, you've done a lot of distro reviews as well, and I'm sure you've tried a number of distributions and then ended up going back. Tell us a little bit about that, if you would, please, Quids Up. Yeah, that's right, Spatry. I've been uh, on Ubuntu now for quite some time. Uh, I just find it really easy to use, I like the interface. So when I've tried other distros, I've been trying to make them as usable as Ubuntu and 
that's where I've gone through various other distros and just always in the end I've gone back, oh, I'm just going to go with Ubuntu, it's just so much simpler. Now out of all the distributions you have reviewed, and I know you have reviewed a lot of them, uh, please tell me about some of the distributions that were highlights and please tell me about some other distributions that were really not so good, that fell short of expectations. Well, I think the highlight's got to be Zorin OS 6 Ultimate. In fact, I, I marked that one a lot higher than Ubuntu. Um, it was just a, very little I could criticise on it. it. It was just worked straight out of the box. It had so much in there. In fact, a bit of a criticism was it had a bit too much in there, but I suppose that's what you get for the Ultimate. Uh, worst distro, though. In fact, I could annoy a lot of people and say Linux Mint. Just, it was very slow, and I just don't like the way they've ripped the heart out of Ubuntu. They take so much of it and then rip out any of the uh, money-making things for Canonical. Okay, that's, uh, uh, that, that was completely unexpected, and that kind of blew me away, because uh, I think Mint is okay for what it is, and that sort of thing, and you felt that, you know, Mint took something away from Ubuntu. That's interesting to hear that point of view. Now, quids up if there was a piece of advice you could give to anybody who is completely new to Linux, they've never tried it before, uh, what kind of advice would you give to them in helping them to determine which distribution would be right for them? Well, I would say keep it simple, because I know a lot of complaints of say, people with new to, new to Linux is that there's so much choice and it's just too confusing. What I would say is go to Google, put in the search Linux and go straight for the first result, which I believe is Ubuntu. So yeah, just keep it simple and go with an easy to use distro like Ubuntu. Actually, the other choice I would recommend is Zorin, but hey, one of the two. Yeah, now, um, the, the thing that can't be beat about Ubuntu is the fact that the support community is so large for it. And the thing is, when I was new to Linux, I found a lot of answers on the Ubuntu forums, even though I decided to land on Pinguy OS. But we'll get in, we'll get to that in a moment. First, I'd like to move over to Riley. He's been sitting here quietly and patiently. And Riley, uh, tell us about your favorite distribution that you're running right now, and why do you like it? Currently, right now, I'm on Mint Debian Edition. It does everything I needed to do out of the box, and it uses a third of the resources that Ubuntu does. So. It's a win-win. Oh, okay, so you're running a rolling release here. Uh, let me ask you a question. Are you wearing any Band-Aids from any updates? No, I'm not. I've been on it for two weeks now, and it's been very stable. I haven't had any issues. The only thing I cannot get working is my graphics driver on Cinnamon, but X work is working good enough where I don't need, need them, so just, I just never got an answer to install on them. Just out of curiosity, is that an ATI card? Yes, it is. ATI 4200. Oh, geez, I'm out of here, Spatry. Goodbye. No, just kidding. <laughs> I just had to ask. You, you got Total OS today all riled up, and he's going to get his chance to rant on that. But first, Riley, uh, tell us about some of the distributions that you have tried before landing on Linux Mint Debian Edition. Oh, man, you name it, I've tried it. I've, first one I tried was probably Pinguy 11.04. I loved it, but 11.04 is just a little bit too outdated for me. So I was probably on that for a good week, and that's when the addiction started happening, and I would be on a different distribution about every three to four days, it seemed like. And I've tried ArchBang, I've tried Bridge Linux, I've tried Arch by itself, and eventually I got to the point, I just got so fed up, I just stuck with Mint 13 for a while until I tried Mint Debian Edition. Yeah, I'll have to agree. When you're hopping around from different distributions to distributions, you know, some of these can be quite aggravating. Which one aggravated you the most? Oh, by far ArchBang. I had so many issues on ArchBang. I know a lot of people would say read the full manual, and I did. And the truth is, I tried Bridge Linux as well, and I didn't have half the problems on Bridge Linux as I did on ArchBang. I would I seriously wanted to throw some dynamite at my computer. Okay, so I fully understand that. So it sounds like you have a nice uh, system set up and uh, you're happy with your distribution that you're currently running now. What advice would you give to a complete beginner, somebody who's never used Linux, what advice would you give to them in choosing a distribution that's right for them? 
I would choose something that has a large community so you can hop in IRC and ask questions where you won't get trolled out. Um, that being said, Ubuntu, I've noticed there is a good bit of trolls on our IRC, but Mint, however, I've never had an issue with trolling, and what can I say of it? That is like Mint 13. It does everything you need it to. Sounds great. Now, uh, many of you may have already seen my show that I did on this to uh, make people aware that we were going to be having this conversation tonight. My, my piece of advice to the community was is to inform yourself. And I used DistroWatch as my example for educating yourself on the different distributions that are available to you. They, are, they have a wonderful search function where you can pretty much uh, locate a distribution that's suitable to your needs and then you can try them out. One piece of advice I like to give to people is number one, blank DVDs are dirt cheap. So literally you could just download 12 different distributions if you wanted to and try each one of them out and pretty much see which one you like the best. Uh, that, is, that, is my, uh, uh, that is my opinion on it and I've heard a few people say definitely check out uh, the, um, definitely check out the uh, forums and that is a great point too before you even install it you can go into IRC and ask a few questions. See how friendly the community is. Hey, I need help with making a uh, bootable flash drive as Riley had suggested on IRC. Um, or even using VirtualBox, but some people want the full experience. So they actually want to boot their computers using some kind of bootable medium so that you know, you can uh, try these distributions out. But definitely, going into IRC, uh, checking different forms and that sort of thing uh, is a great help. Now, as many of you know, I am using Arch Linux, and I absolutely love it. Now, when I first uh, tried uh, Linux for the first time, I was watching the OzGUI Tech Show, and he had a demonstration of Linux Mint 1004, I think it was, and I downloaded it and I booted my computer off of it and everything worked right out of the box. I had never seen a Linux distribution do that before. Uh, over the years, I have used many different Linux distributions and I'd install them, but I never stuck with it. And it wasn't until that turning point of using Linux Mint, I think it was 1004, I'm pretty sure that's the one that was out at the time. Uh, that made the difference because everything was starting to work and then I also noticed that wine was working I could get some of my Windows applications working as well and uh, that was another selling point so as I but I wanted to have more it seemed like I was outgrowing these distributions really quickly I was getting used to the customizing and that sort of thing uh, all of these distributions had GNOME too so uh, you know and I'm a customization freak I want the wobbly windows. I, you know, I want a nice dark theme that's really going to kick ace. You know, when I'm at the coffee shop, people are peeking over my shoulder and they're going, wow, what is that you're running? That looks awesome. And I can tell them that I'm running Linux. And I got up to PinGuy OS and I thought I was never going to change. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have PinGuy OS 1104 running on a few of the house computers here. And it seems like the people that are using these computers have been able to adapt to it quite well. But the community pushed me to give Arch a try. Um, they wanted to see the host of Spatry's Cup of Linux running an advanced operating system and uh, my show actually went down for a week and I'll tell you what it was a headache at first um, I beat my head on the counter a number of times I started with Arch Bang and once I finally got used to it then one weekend I just uh, didn't release any videos I formatted the hard drive and did a full Arch install and I backed up all of my configuration files so that I could use them in from ArchBang, I 
backed up all my config files from ArchBang and used them in Arch, so that saved me a lot of time. And now I have a wonderful rolling release operating system, and uh, uh, I just cannot sing the Arch community enough praises. Uh, luckily, I've never had to go on IRC to ask any questions, because I'm the kind of person that if I want something bad enough, I'm going to go to any links to get it. I will dig around on YouTube. I will dig around on uh, Google, I will hit the forums and I will dig, dig, dig until I find the answer. And if one solution doesn't work for me, I will try something else and I will keep at it until I find the answer that I'm looking for. And if it's something I feel that it's really relevant that's going to help out a lot of people, then I'll go ahead and put up a video on it on my channel so I can share that knowledge. Because I've learned that when you share that knowledge you're actually helping yourself and it's really funny because I have actually gone back to some of my videos I'm thinking to myself geez how did I do this I can go back to one of my older videos and see ah that's how I did it I made a video on this to help somebody else so I found it actually helped me out very well and uh, Ryan's mentioning that I should go to Gen 2 you bet I will I am going to be building it and that sort of thing but the only thing that really about that is the compiling times. I can be impatient sometimes, so when I have a system that's updating and if, I, if I'm going to compile everything to do an update may take a while, but you can bet I am always going to have an Arch Linux based system. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pass the microphone over to TotalOS today and he can share with us some of his experiences. Yeah, thank you, Spatry. Uh, two things. First of all, I'm glad uh, Quids mentioned Zorn OS. I think the latest version of it is, is spectacular. I, I started praising Zorn probably probably a good year before it started to become mainstream. I just, you know, mainstream. I just thought it was absolutely brilliant to have something that, you know, looks like Windows 7. Of course, it's not. It's Linux. But if it looks like Windows, the person trying it for the first time may feel more comfortable and maybe keep it. My first exposure to a Linux operating system probably back in 2005 I was looking at a magazine and there was something on one of the pages a full page it says something uh, tired of Windows try Ubuntu and of course my first reaction was what the horse stable is Ubuntu anyway from there I started to experiment with many different kind of uh, distributions who knows how many probably a couple hundred CDs burned and wasted to where I am today. I still think Zorn is the number one uh, Linux-based operating system for complete newbies who want to try Linux but are scared. Personally, I use on my main desktop Ubuntu. Uh, there's nothing wrong with Zorn. I just like the way Ubuntu looks. I also have Linux Mint, the latest version installed, the Linux Mint Mate or Mate or Cinemate or whatever it's called. Of course, I do have also Cinnamon installed uh, as an extension. I just basically log in and out and change to my different desktop environments depending on mood, what mood I am in. But basically right now, Ubuntu 12.04 is my main operating system on my desktop as a dual boot uh, because if something happens in Linux, such as Patrick mentioned, the uh, wonderful ATI drivers, thank God Windows 7 came to the rescue. It doesn't happen that often, but I dual, I dual boot because I enjoy dual booting and, and because I still have to, at least for me. As far as advice for newbies on where to go and what to do, there are several very good websites such as DistroWatch. I think the, one of the first websites I checked out was Linux. I think it's .org. There is a Linux.com, but I believe it's, it's Linux.org, and that got me more information about the history of Linux. But honestly, as 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 far as uh, newbies wanting to get more information, my channel caters to that. Uh, you will never see me. Uh, mention well maybe I may mention it but you will never see me uh, probably never see me try Arch Linux or try to install Arch Linux uh, that I leave to Spatry because as you know uh, Spatry fishes with dynamite so, so there's already something wrong with him if, if, if he's using Arch no I'm just kidding Spatry but uh, I love you but uh, I um, I like Ubuntu 1204 
and and uh, try Zorin, try Linux Mint if you are new. Try Ubuntu 12.04. That's my main Linux OS now. And if you have and if you need more information, check out the Spatry channel. He's done videos before, to, you know, tutorials on how to start from scratch. I have many videos on my channel. Uh, no question is stupid. Uh, it's been a bit of a challenge uh, for me to get an audience because I use I like using both Windows and a Linux based operating system and it's been it's it's very difficult to both appeal and appease both the Windows and Linux community but for the most part the people that I've met online are quite friendly but that's that's me that is tossed today uh, I use both Windows and Linux I I have a confession to make. Lately, I've been using more Linux than Windows. There's nothing wrong with Windows 7, but the Linux for me seems to be a little bit more um, more fun to use. I'm, I'm not a customizing uh, junkie like Spatry is, but you know, I like to use different things. And for me, Linux right now is more fun than Windows 7. But like I said, I enjoy dual booting, and I will continue to do that. Spatry, back to you. You know, it's interesting you say that because I just had somebody an hour before the show start leave a message on my Facebook page saying that, uh, that I can't remember what her name is, but she stated that Spatry is really owning Windows and showing just how much fun you can have with a Linux operating system. And I think everybody that is present here that has shows is doing that very same thing. Quids Up has a lot of videos up and he shows that how you can have fun with Linux and you're doing the same thing. And the thing is all of you who have shows on YouTube including you, Electro, Pingcasts, Toss today, all of you are making a major contribution to the community in that we're helping to educate entertain and inspire people who may be considering window I mean considering Linux as an alternative to Windows and so this is a wonderful contribution I remember before my show started I watched a few quids up videos that were there sneaky Linux popped in earlier tonight and said hi and I saw a number of his videos as well and you know and so having these video channels up on YouTube has really really helped uh, influence my decision of which distribution to at least try first. Then when I found that the Linux distributions had matured to a point where it's powering all of my hardware, you know, then it became more comfortable for me to go out and try other distributions and see, you know, which ones uh, would work better. And um, I always liked the idea of having a minimalist system. When I was running Windows, for instance, um, for instance, when I bought my laptop computer that came with Windows 7 pre-installed, do you know I spent more time uninstalling all the junkware that came on it because I wanted a bare-bones system that I could build on top of? and just put only the applications that I want. Why have five applications that do one silly thing? You know, you go out and buy a new webcam for your computer and it wants to install all this bloatware and everything on your system. And in Linux, that is not the case. Uh, you know, you can download one application that you like and uh, and use that and be happy with it. And interestingly enough, I just bought this new webcam yesterday for my computer. And uh, it was interesting that Ghost Sea View that I'm using for my webcam software actually detected the settings that my new webcam has and it adjusted all the controls for it. So literally, I have full control over that. And that is simply amazing what the free and open source community is putting out. Okay, and at this point, I'm going to uh, go through, I'm going to to uh, reintroduce everyone again and see if they have any final thoughts on this discussion. First, we'll start with you, Valley. Who do you have any final thoughts? Well, I think the key to distro hopping, and uh, in my opinion, the antidote to distro hopping is finding what works for you, what you're most interested in. Unfortunately, just like with you know modern medicine, we do have to go through a vast list of things to make sure that we get the right thing. So it really depends on the person. But in the end, I think for new people, the key is to reduce that culture shock of a brand new environment. Crunchy Linux, what is your final thought? Uh, once again, just find a distribution that works out of the box, because if you have trouble getting like Wi-Fi or something to work, then don't mess with it 
just find something that works, find something that's easy. That's that's what I had to find, and I'm happy. Electro. Yeah, it's just about finding what works straight out the box. Um, like you said, there's going to be a distro out there for you, and just don't always go on the first distro you come across thinking this is the best one for you. Just try them all out, and if you've got to go back to the same one again that you started off with, do that. But it, Linux is what you make of it, really. It's all about what experience you're willing to gain in the process. If you like us who want to learn new stuff, then you need to try different types of types of Linux that are on different distros, really. Pencasts. Uh, if you're new, get a good out-of-the-box distro that works for you, that works with your hardware, that has the environment you like. Maybe uh, sometime down the road you want more of a challenge, go ahead. Uh, try Arch Linux, try Slack, or try Gentoo, try whatever. If you're looking for that challenge, looking for that knowledge gain, you can try that. My last round of distro hopping, I tried the, uh, what, the granddaddy distro, Slack, or Debian, Gentoo, before going on to Ubuntu. That was my last round. I, I enjoyed most of them. It's all good stuff. Just, uh, do you want out of the box? Do you want uh, to build from ground up? Do you like KDE or do you like GNOME? Do you want a full desktop environment? Do you want a standalone window manager? Get the distro that's good and consistent with the experience you want out of your Linux operating system and just love that distro to pieces. Quids up, what are your final thoughts? Well. I think it would be good to see more video reviews on these distros to get better opinion of them. Don't see too many around, and that's why I suppose it's up to all of us who do have YouTube channels to show the wider community what they're like. Riley. My suggestion is, is keep it simple. Just because something is easy doesn't make it a bad thing. Why make life difficult on yourself? And go with something like Arch. I don't get that. I don't ha understand that philosophy. I finally come to realize that, and I'm very happy with Debian. And my only suggestion, if you do start using a bunch of different distributions, that you do use a flash drive instead of a CD, because it will boot a lot faster off a of flash drive, and it will just work better. But other than that, just find something that works and stick with it. My only point is there are only so many times you can write the master boot record on a flash drive. That's something to keep in mind. I've got two flash drives here that I, for some reason I just can't get booting anymore. Okay, and um, Total OS Today, do you have any final thoughts? My top three, uh, top three newbie Linux OSs would have to be, uh, and not necessarily in this order, but I think uh, Zorn probably on the top because it does at least look like Windows 7, but Zorn... Uh, Ubuntu and Linux Mint, uh, those usually uh, are very easy to install, easy to navigate to and through. But if you are completely, absolutely new and want to feel comfortable, check out Zorn OS 6. I think it's terrific. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Uh, you know, send me a comment, a personal message. If something is good, I will tell you it's good. If it's not, I'll tell you it's more stable. And to try to avoid uh, that the particular path of uh, going going goofy, as I like to say sometimes, if you know if something is not going to work out for you. But Spatry, that's really it for me. Yeah, and I'm definitely with Quids up. There definitely need to be more distro reviews, and I'm making every effort to fill the requests that I do get in my request section on my uh, YouTube channel. And uh, I figured the best way to really demonstrate a distribution is to do a, a brief overview of it in a five minute time frame and then just provide a link to the developer's website where the users can go to their developer and uh, get more information on the distribution. You know, I, I feel that having these shorter videos uh, will really help people to at least be able to see the distribution in action and then if their their curiosity is perked up then they can go on the distribute on the uh, on the uh, developers website and get more information on it if they want well folks this has been a wonderful show we haven't run over our allotted time frame I'm, I'm glad that we were able to do that and not only that this isn't going to require a whole lot of editing. I really appreciate uh, everybody uh, for uh, working with me on the uh, working with me uh, on this endeavor. And uh, Total OS today, why don't you go ahead and take us out? Did you say there's not too much editing? Sure. Where's my clipper? <clears throat> I'm just kidding, Spatry.
another t <laughs> another terrific show as always uh thanks to everyone on the show ballyhoo crunchy linux reviews electro pincast quids riley of course Spatry, and from myself toss today uh we i will end it like this as i do usually on my channel we will catch all of you in your linux future ciao today's show was brought to you by the linux destroy community visit us today at linuxdestroycommunity.com and chat with us on mumble or an IRC on the Freenode network in the Linux Destroy Community channel. The Linux Destroy Community. Freedom through the sharing of knowledge.